Hi everyone, welcome to Chaz's Lifestyle. In today's episode, we're making salmon bites, also a cilantro lime ranch. So here I have my fresh salmon. I do prefer sa fresh salmon instead of the frozen salmon when we're creating fried salmon bites. So I will be cutting these up into large cube-like shapes. Also my canola oil is heating on 350. So I start by slicing my salmon into four thick slices and then I will go ahead and cube them into the size that I prefer. So it does depend on the type of salmon you have as well as the thickness of the salmon. So make sure you just keep an eye out on how thick you prefer your salmon. Now I know a lot of people like the salmon tenders, but I prefer the salmon bites. It's just the perfect combination with the homemade ranch or homemade sauce that you prefer. Oh, it's such an amazing thing to have for a game night, family night, just something chill, or if you just want something quick to eat, this definitely does not take long. So in one bowl, I will be adding in two large eggs. And also all of my ingredients will be listed down below in the description box if you're interested in making this. Next I'm adding in some of that Louisiana hot sauce and I'm going to give that a quick whisk to ensure everything is fully incorporated. After that I'm going to sit that to the side and then I will be uh, using these seasonings to season my flour as well as these salmon bites. Like I said, all of my ingredients are listed down below in the description box. In another large bowl, I will be adding the all-purpose flour plus a pinch of cornstarch, and then I will go ahead and go in with those seasonings. I'm only gonna use about half of that seasoning mix, and then the other half will go with the salmon. So I'm gonna mix that together until everything is fully incorporated. So here are those beautiful salmon bites. As you can see, I'm seasoning them up very well. So when I put the seasoning on there, I'm just gonna rub it in a little, just to ensure it's all over the salmon bites, on the sides, the back, all over fully coated. So now I have my seasoned flour. I will go ahead and start with a couple salmon bites. You don't wanna overcrowd it. Just start with a couple, about three to five, and then you wanna give that a good toss in there. And then we're gonna shake off that excess flour before we dip it in the egg batter. Like I said, my oil is preheating on 340, and then I moved it up to 350 um, as soon as I started coating these salmon fillets. So now, like I said, you're going to shake off that excess flour, then roll it gently and lightly into that egg batter. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that to the, a few of them, and then we'll repeat that process. So now I'm going to go back and add it into that seasoned flour. And then once I add it into that seasoned flour, you want to give that a really good shake to release all that extra flour that might be on the salmon fillets. And you just want that perfect layer as you can see right there. And then I'm gonna sit them on a rack before I even fry it just to ensure that all-purpose flour sticks on that salmon very well before frying. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue the process on with the rest of the salmon fillets. So enjoy watching. So all of them are ready. They have sat a little bit just to ensure that batter is sticking very well. Now it's time to fry them up. You have to make sure your oil is very hot and it's ready. So you can test it with a little water, a little flour. If 
Okay, so I'm going ahead and adding the salmon fillets. As you can see, they're apart. They're not too close, overcrowded. And I'm gonna drop them in. Once I drop it in, give that a really good shake. And we're gonna let this fry for about six to seven minutes or until fully cooked. As you can see, they're perfectly crispy. I checked all my salmon bites about five minutes into frying and then I went ahead and fried it for an additional a minute and a half. Um, I just wanted more of a golden brown. Okay, so while that is continuing on frying, I am making this awesome, oh my gosh, amazing sauce. So as you can see, I'm using that new Buffalo Ranch and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a fresh squeeze of lime juice in there to give it a little pop. And then after I add that lime juice, I'm gonna hit it with some freshly chopped cilantro. So once I add all that in, I'm gonna give that a really good mix until everything is fully incorporated and it's ready to go. If you decide to make this recipe, be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chaz's Cuisine Story. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't a part of the lifestyle already, and comment another recipe or video topic you'd like to see from this YouTube channel.